Hello, Kenneth Hollins here with HollinsMusic.com. Thank you so much for taking a few moments and viewing this video. Today, I want to share with you something that I play quite often when I am uh, playing an intro for a song. Say, for example, someone is singing a solo. They're getting ready to sing a solo or something like that. And you as the piano player or the keyboardist, uh, you're playing an intro to set them up for the beginning of the song. Now, many times what we hear is uh, it's a pretty standard progression uh, that many gospel musicians use uh, as an intro. But what I want to uh, show you today is uh, three alternatives to that standard progression that you hear, uh, something that you can use uh, as an alternative. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you the uh, standard progression and then I'll go go back and show you the alternative uh, progressions um, that are different. OK. All right. So this is the uh, standard progression that you'll hear many times. And this is in the key of E flat. OK. All right. We probably have all heard that particular intro. Uh, some of y'all are probably laughing now because you do that all the time, which is cool. That's fine. That's a great uh, intro to play. But what I want to do is uh, show you some alternative um, progressions that you can use for an intro. And I'm going to also do these in the key of E flat. OK. And before I play them, I also want to send a shout out to Derek Jackson, phenomenal musician uh, in the Memphis, Tennessee area. Uh, I was actually fortunate enough to uh, study with him a brief period uh, when I was first learning to play. And so many uh, of these concepts that, I'm, that I'll be showing you today, I really learned a lot of those things from him. So shout out to Derek Jackson. Okay. All right. So this is the first one. Alright, I'll do that one one more time. And then you do the setup. Alright. Okay. So that's the progression. Alright. So you can use that for an intro. Alright, so now let me break it down for you. I started like this. Okay, this is roughly this is roughly a uh C sharp dominant seven chord over B natural. Okay, now the notes that I'm playing with my left hand, I'm playing B natural, A flat, C sharp, and then with my right hand, I'm simply playing F and C sharp. Okay, now if that's too wide of a stretch for your left hand, you simply can just play the uh, B and the A flat just fine but I'm actually playing B A flat and C sharp okay so if your hands are big enough you can do that okay so we move like this all right and then the right hand moves to A flat and F okay so we move from F and C sharp to A flat and F okay so like this and then we change to this all right this is simply just uh, an F sharp major chord over B flat and my left hand is playing B flat or A sharp F sharp C sharp okay so I'm doing all of that with my left hand and my right hand is playing A sharp or B flat and F sharp okay and again if that's too wide of a stretch you can leave the C sharp off with the left hand and just play that okay but I'm, but I'm including the C-sharp with my uh, left hand, okay? So again, and then we move to that, C-sharp and B-flat. So we move from here to here, okay? Then we go here. This is actually uh, A-flat diminished 7, okay? And the left hand, I'm playing A-flat, F, and B-natural. Then my right hand, I'm playing D and B natural. Okay, so uh, left hand again, it's a pretty wide stretch. 
if you can reach it, it would be great. But if it's too wide, you can play A flat and F. And you'll somewhat get uh, somewhat of the same sound, okay? All right, so let's keep moving. And then we go here. Okay, so we move from the D and B, and we move to F and D. And then finally, okay, this is E flat major over G. Okay, and I'm playing G, E flat, B flat, G, E flat right here. Okay. Okay. So one, one more time. Okay. Now once I get here, I play this. Okay. I call that a chord straddle. Okay. And and basically I'm playing E flat major triads. I'm just leaving the middle note out of each um, each one that I'm playing. So I'm playing G and E flat, then E flat and B flat, then B flat and G, G and E flat, okay? So again, like that, okay, I'll do it again. Actually, um, I call this uh, F sharp diminished, and then we also have a D natural in here, which would be um, depends on how you look at it. You also could call it E flat diminished over F sharp, and then that D would be the major seven. Okay, so it's a few different ways you could look at that. Okay, but the notes are F sharp, D sharp, and A natural. I'm doing all of that with the uh, left hand. Okay, if it's too wide, you just leave off the A and play those two notes. Okay, but the right hand is D sharp, F sharp, D natural. Okay, and that D adds a little uh, dissonance to the chord. Alright, so again, excuse me. Right here. And then we move the D natural to uh, C natural. Alright. Alright, this is F minor 7 with an added 11 in there. Okay, uh, left hand I'm playing F, E flat, and then right hand I'm playing A flat and B flat. I'm playing both of those notes with my thumb. Okay, then C, E flat, and B flat on the top. Okay. Everything else stays the same. Then we go here. All right, this is B flat 13, flat 9 sharp 11. All right, jazz chord. I'm playing B flat and A flat with the left hand. Right hand is B natural. That's the flat 9. Uh, then I'm going to D, E, and G. play an F by itself and then resolve on the E flat major with an added 2. Okay, and my left hand is playing E flat, B flat, E flat, F, G, B flat, and E flat. Alright, and then the setup. Okay, this is a B flat 13. And I'm simply playing B flat, G, right hand is uh, a flat and B flat, both of those notes with uh, my thumb. C, E flat, G, and B flat. And then, all right, we throw that chord in there too. This is a uh, B flat dominant seven flat nine uh, sharp eleven. B flat dominant seven with uh, thirteen in there as well. I'm playing uh, B flat, A flat, B natural, D. E, G, and B flat. Okay, and then the per
person can come in with the song. So say, for example, they were playing Amazing Grace. <laughs> that was a pretty jazzy uh, way of playing the intro for Amazing Grace. But just for example, say they were playing it. Uh, you could use this for your intro. So you can use that for an intro, okay? I'm going to give you one more, uh, one more intro that you can use uh, other than just the, the, you know, the standard little uh, walk up, okay? And it works like this. Okay, then that's the setup. Okay, all right, so let me give it to you. We start with uh, somewhat of a diminished chord with the left hand. This is, uh, you can look at this like F diminished. Okay, now what I'm doing is with my left hand, I'm playing uh, F, D, and A flat. And then with my right hand, I'm playing a B natural. Okay, so I'm moving like this. So now with my uh, left hand, I'm playing F, D, and A flat. And then with my right hand, I'm playing B natural. Okay. And then I'm moving these notes like this. Okay. So I'm moving from B, C, D, and, and E flat. Okay. Again, B, C, D. Okay, so we're moving like this. All right, then we go to the next chord, which is a G, E flat, and B flat over D natural. Okay. All right, and then we move like this. D, E flat, F, G. basically uh, C sharp dominant 7 over A flat okay I'm playing uh, A flat F A flat left hand right hand is B natural D flat or C sharp and F okay so here we go all right once we hit this chord we play F G A flat flat okay so I do it again slowly okay and then we do this all right this is uh, basically uh, E flat major 7 over B flat uh, left hand is B flat and G and the right hand is D natural E flat and G okay Right hand is A, D, and G. Okay, I'm doing a little grace note from the D flat to the D. And then bring the D back down, okay? So F, E flat, A, D, G. Okay, bring that D down a half step with the right hand. All right, then we move here. This is A flat. A suspended seven with a two in there and I'm playing a flat excuse me B flat left hand B flat a flat right hand is C and L okay and then I do this movement here where I hold the B flat down uh, as my bottom note uh, furthest to the left and the F down furthest to the right with my right hand and then I play these notes uh, in the middle or, or uh, in the inside, on the inside, like that. So with the left hand, E flat, 
flat, C sharp, D natural. And then the right hand I'm doing C, B flat, B natural. And then I just put them together. Like that while holding down these two. Right, that's, and that's the resolution there. When we get there. And then finally we end on uh, the E flat major. Uh, same one as before, E flat, E flat, E flat. F, G, B flat, E flat. Okay, and then it's the setup again. The B flat uh, 13 uh, suspended. B flat, G, left hand, right hand is uh, A flat, B flat, C, E flat, G, and B flat. And then we go here. Okay. Same chord is uh, sim similar to the one uh, that we did before, which is a uh, B flat, A flat, left hand, right hand is B, D, E, G, and B natural. Okay? And then it sets you up to go into the actual song. Okay? So those are two intros uh, that are different uh, that you can use other, just, other than the standard progression that you hear many times. Okay? So I'm going to give you uh, those two progressions again, and hopefully it'll be something that you can use. All right, this is the first one, one more time. Okay, that's the first one. And then the second one was this, one more time. 